All right, we're gonna get Miss Sonya to pick from the box. <laughs> oh. I just pick any random one. Or just pick up the top one? Uh, usually the top one. All right, let me get them. Thank you. And if you can read the question so the people can, you know, for the what audience. Turns people over to be gay in the Bible, God or the devil? Do you think people should be given over to be with the same sex? Honestly, what I believe in is we're made the way we are. Um, so there are certain, uh, actually there's a certain gene that we have to have. And that puts us on to be more likely to get with the same sex or get with the opposite sex it depends on which gene so in my wow. opinion since you're saying it's a gene that's that we was created with it's like a, not specifically like, a, like an actual gene that you it's a your genetic predisposition so if you have a predisposition predisposition as such that you are you're born with more maybe testosterone then even if you're a female you're going to act more manly and if you're acting more manly then everything in terms of even your brain it will change right the chemicals so in terms of that you'll obviously be more attracted to a female even if you are a female so you think people can be born gay i think they can be uh so in that sense since it is god who gives us life i would think it's god you think god give people over to be gay to, I to think God is the one who mice. creates us. So if there is a certain, if we're born with more testosterone, if we're born with more estrogen, estrogen being the female uh, hormone and testosterone being the male hormone, if we're born with either one that's that dominates over the other one, God is one who gave life to us. So if God is giving us the more creator. of something, we're genetically we're predisposed to be more towards one gender opposed to the other. That's interesting. Because, okay, in Romans chapter 1, it says that God gave people over. But, as I mean, it's saying this because they wouldn't believe in him and follow him. Mm -hmm. Since they wouldn't do what he, you know, obey him and follow his truth. Uh, he gave them over to be gay and stuff. You know, lesbian, homosexual. He gave them over to a reprobate mind to think that that's okay. So, you got that correct. You know what I'm saying? Because he, a lot of people don't know that. They think that's the devil doing that. That is just know? absolutely incorrect. So uh, I, so. I mean, this might be, I'm straight. So I, it's not like I have any uh, bias towards either one. But I just think that it's something that you are born with. And the person, if God is the one who gives us life. God is the one who's making us be born with a certain say disposition as opposed to the other one so he's not necessarily giving you over to that you just you born with that and if you choose it exactly. at a certain point of course there are still it, that's why people say coming out of the closet right there are still some people who try <laughs> to fight against it yeah. like, no we're not we're not gay just because it's in their minds the only black and white is if you're a guy you should be with a girl if you're a girl you should be with a guy that is the black and white that we've been raised to believe in. Because, like, what if people have been born with both sexes, like morphodites and stuff? Like, they didn't have no choice exactly. to be born like that. And this. it's not mm -hmm. like, I mean, I'm not an atheist, but it's not like what you, the uh, devil. you Christian? I'm a Hindu. Hindu. But it's not like the devil's coming and saying, oh, well, no, That's we're going to have you born with both sexes. So the Hindu thing, what do you believe, like, for as Jesus and... Krishna is the is Krishna like okay, Krishna Harris, is one Krishna. of our gods. Yes, sir. So y'all have many gods. We do. We have uh, over a million gods. See, people don't know that in the Old Testament, it's more than one god in the Bible. Mm -hmm. But Christianity, they teach that it's just one. It's just, nah, it's it's many. No, of course, because every god has a different place which that's take, where which they're taking care of. So we have a god that takes care of the wind. We have another God that takes care of the rain, another God that takes care of people actually born, nature, all of these are different. Because there is different not, purposes. It's not possible, exactly, it's not possible for one entity to be taking care of that much. Mm. If he were be if he if he or she were to be taking care of that many things at once, we all know the more we're taking on, the more distracted we are. Which mm. means the more we're not able to focus on one specific thing. The more divided 
Exactly. Kind of exactly. So if that were the case, then all this that we see around us wouldn't have been possible because everyone's divided, right? You can't. It's not possible for you to make every single thing yeah. beautiful if you're focusing on that many more things. So I mean, that's just my my own. And Hindu culture. Hinduism is older than Christianity, so it, is. it actually takes a lot of things from Hinduism and different other religions and they made their own religion you know from these other ones so what you think about Jesus like for us Jesus being the Christ or he was God or he was he was just one more God that you know another God that y'all the believe? way I've been raised is he's just another God of course out of the over a million gods that we have in Hinduism I don't believe or I don't pray to every single one of them I would be sitting for years upon years and just praying but in my view, I don't, I'm not against any religion, I'm not against any culture, it's just everyone has their own, and I believe in all of them equally as much. You, I, you don't think Jesus was unique, a unique God, or he was different than any other ones? I don't think so, honestly, because if you're taking into account the sacrifice, all of Hindu gods have made their sacrifices too. Mm. So, in my opinion, it's just another God that some people follow, some people don't. Most of the U.S. does not follow Hindu gods. They don't mm. follow Hindu traditions, right? But it's, it is another god, and only ignorant and arrogant people can say, no, that's not a god. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's my take. I don't know if that gotcha. answered yeah, your question. Yeah, man, it helped a, lot, it helped a whole lot. Gotcha. All right.